Welcome to the Lisa WMS by Design demo. I'm going to start by creating a purchase order. The, the order is right here. And once it is created, we can go to order. It has a couple of items below, a Metallica t-shirt and black tee. Let's order. And below I can see that purchase order 1024 has been created. On real time, I can go to Lisa WMS from a handheld device, go to inbound, receiving. As you can see, Lisa is a web-based application that is compatible with almost any device. Let's go to receiving. I can see there are 16 orders for me to work today and the order number is 1024. Now, Lisa is requesting me the license plate. This is the place where I am receiving the item. It could be a receiving area or a pallet. Let's say this will be pallet 1024. I have a couple of items, so let's go and scan. I scan one of the items. I add a quantity, 500 Metallica t-shirts in this case. Let's go for this second item. Both are being received in the same pallet, just for the example. There's a difference here because this item has or needs a batch number. This means it's an identified stock. So let's do batch uh, black T002. I add the quantity and I'm done. I continue. And what I have is on this pallet 1024, I have 500 t shirts and 500 boxes of a black tea. I could delete and try again, but what I'll do is just save. So I will save over here. And the next step is to check back in SAP by design, what is the effect of the document that I just created. Once we received the palette, we can go to put away palette scan the label of the palette 1024 and receive a recommendation. I have to say Lisa is going to put away the palette with all of its contents. Look, here is the t-shirt and here the black tee with the batch, of course. Let's go back. So I use the forklift. I put away the palette and confirm the label of the destination bin. What happened is Lisa moved this pallet from a receiving area into the bin location. This is what you will see with this. Let's go to inventory list. Let's look at that pallet, 1024. And as you can see now, the pallet is inside of the bin on a zone and a warehouse. So Lisa is tracking several uh, logical ledgers for the inventory. Of course, the items, these uh, t-shirts could be sitting directly in a bin location without the pallet in the middle. That's of course something feasible in Lisa WMS. All right, now let's go to a different transaction. What we'll do now is we are going to sell. Let's create a sales order in SAP. Let's go to new. Let's go for this customer. Let's change this uh, information to the Lisa sales unit. 
And now we can start adding items. Let's uh, add this item, the same ones we just uh, purchased and received will will be good. Let's do the black tea. Let's sell a few quantities here, 10 units and 10 units, and then the price will be $10 and $10 as well. So let's save over here. I'll uh, submit by releasing the order. That's perfect. Now let's go to the next step. We'll go to customer demand and look at orders created today. Let's see this order, these two lines belong to the order we just created. They are not released. So what we'll do is force confirmation and release only the two ones at the bottom of the list. Release. It's perfect. Let's go to the next process. 3PL outbound. Let's do all proposals based on sales orders. This is the one we just created and I'll create a 3PL request. This is the document that flows into Lisa WMS and will be able to start the WMS processing. This is a document 2032. So let's go to Lisa, sales, order picking priorities, search, and look, this is the document. I will release this. Now we are going to save and now we can start the picking. Let's go to the uh, Lisa WMS in the scanner, outbound transactions, picking. So let's go for order 2032, which just came from by design. Uh, the license plate is a place where I am uh, putting the items after picking. In this case, I will bring them into a packing station. This is the place I need to visit. So I scan the bin. I scan the item. Of course, it's validating that I'm scanning the correct item. And I need to pick 10 itches, which I'll do. Next bin, I will confirm the bin for the black tea. I will confirm this is the item. This is the, the description. So let's scan, select the batch. This is the oldest batch available for me to, to pick. This is the FIFO or FIFO logic, depending on the configuration of the item. I could also scan it. In this case, I configured Lisa to show me the list of available batches. So next quantity is 10. And there you go. Picking has uh, finished. Now items were moved from the bin into a packing station. Let's continue from there. Go to packing. The order is 2032. So these are the items which I can scan, I can pack. Okay, let's see. The way this is configured is to make me scan every unit, you know, instead of scanning and then adding the quantity, I this is configured to scan one, two, three, up to 10. 
So I'll just leave it like this. I will go to closing confirmation and this will pack four and one. As you can see, Lisa has different behaviors and that's something we can control with the configuration. This will go to palette number one. I can print a label for the palette, which I will skip for now and go out of here. Once we finish the packing, I can go straight to shipping, then call order 232. Select the carrier, which here we don't have too many available. And the palette that I created is available here to be scanned or confirmed manually. I can load all that will populate the shipping column. But in this case, what I want to do is scan the license plate. That is scan pallet number one. Let's go there. Scan pallet number one. Go back. And there you go. This is confirmed. I could have many pallets. I scanned all of them and ship. When I do this, Lisa will create a an outbound delivery notification back into SAP. So now let's go to sales orders. Let's do all the sales orders. Order 4086 is the one we just fulfilled. Let's go there. Let's uh, do a view all option and then Let's take a look at the document flow. And this is the standard view, but I want to be the extended view, which has all the info, including the 3PL request 2032, and then the outbound delivery. This document, the last one, was created by Lisa when we did the shipping. So this is a small, demo with a couple of examples of what Lisa WMS can do. And the, what we try to do here is show the value that it can bring to the table with uh, automated activities for put away, for picking, for counting, and so on and so forth. Let's just do our, a little tour on the remaining functionalities. We did inbound, outbound, we can manage returns in Lisa, receive and ship returns from and to, from customer and to supplier. We can fulfill inventory transfer orders with a directed picking, shipping and receiving. This is to pick inventory that is on the Lisa managed warehouse into different warehouses such as a store or any other uh, warehouse that the company has. Now, under internal, we can do inquiries. We can do direct adjustments, inventory transfers of items or of the full pallet. We can do bulk transfers, directed cycle counts, which have several options. Uh, for example, you can count based on different uh, cycles in days based on the item group, among other options. We can manage restricted inventory and we can do replenishment, which will allow you to replenish from reserve areas into picking areas. So the picking process is uh, more, more fluid and uh, faster. All right. Well, this is a little bit of Lisa WMS. Thank you very much for the time.